Keys. Keys, keys. Born. Born. Wallace, 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 Wallace. come true. Here we got a nice uh, St. Patrick's Day treat for you today. Come on in. Hi everybody. Welcome back to the Carryman. I'm uh, Damo, the head chef here. Today we're going to be cooking corned beef and cabbage. Okay, folks, let's get to the ingredients. So today we're uh, going to be using uh, about a 10 pound corned beef brisket. Uh, we've got a beautiful uh, curly headed cabbage. We've got some nice carrots here. Beautiful new potatoes. And uh, we're actually going to top it off with some uh, parsley cream sauce, very traditional Irish cream sauce. My mom used to make it at home. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, so we've got some butter, finely diced onion, and some heavy cream. Uh, also, <laughs> I know you guys are wondering what this is here for again. I don't know if you remember my last video, um, this is actually going in to the corned beef. And we've got one special ingredient that we haven't told you about yet. Uh, this ingredient actually goes in me, shlanta. Okay, let's get this show started. First of all, we're going to start off with our uh, corned beef brisket. This takes the longest to cook, so we're going to, we're going to put that into a pot of water. Goes on the water. Make sure your water is above your corned beef because you don't want any pieces sticking out to burn otherwise. Adding our beer now. So again, the beer helps with some flavor. Now we're going to cover our corned beef with some uh, foil. This is, uh, helps to keep in the steam and keeps the uh, corned beef nice and moist. So you want to bring it to a boil, first of all, and then once it hits the boil, bring it down to a simmer and you're going to simmer for about maybe four hours. So next we're going to start cooking our carrots. We're going to salt some water and then we're going to add some uh, of our carrots. Next we're going to prep our cabbage, great cabbage. There's some leaves on the outside that are a bit damaged. So we're going to cut the end off here, the stem, and any of these damaged leaves you don't want to use. Beautiful fresh cabbage. That goes right down the middle. And you're going to take this uh, root or stem out of this. You don't want to eat that, it gets really hard, you know. So you want to take the stem out, get rid of that, it's no good to you. I like to cut mine in quarters, crescents, so, you know, it's all up to yourself. You can cut lengthways, you can cut sideways, cut whatever way you want, but I always like the, uh, the half moons. So now we're going to cook our cabbage. And again, you don't want to overcook cabbage, you don't want it too soggy. So now that we've our corned beef started and our cabbage and carrots started, let's make our sauce. So uh, first of all, we're going to start off with some nice butter. And don't be afraid, butter is not your enemy here. We're going to add some uh, finely diced onion. On these, you're just actually just sweating them. We're going to add some heavy cream. This goes right into your onion and butter mixture. We're going to season our uh, cream sauce right now. We're going to use just kosher salt and black pepper. We've uh, spent an hour waiting on this plentiful corned beef to plentiful cook. Let's have a look at it and see how it's getting on. Okay. So you can see it's boiling, simmering right now. We have a long time before this is ready. Okay, so now we're checking on our carrots and our cabbage. We just, uh, you just want to make sure your carrots are tender. Uh, also with the cabbage. Cabbage is a very delicate vegetable. So again, you don't want to overcook this either because you don't want to have cabbage soup. We're going to turn the heat off and we're going to put it into an ice bath. This uh, stops it from cooking. This, uh, this is a great process, just putting it into ice and water. Alright, the carrots are cooked now as well. We're actually going to add it into the same ice bath. 
That's the cabbage. Again, don't forget, we're going to be heating all this up again with our compound butter. Okay, so now you want to test the seasoning in the sauce. Beautiful. Adding our herbs, which is just chopped parsley. So now we're uh, cooking our potatoes. So I like to uh, get like uh, Yukon goals. Don't forget, root vegetables, start your root vegetables off in cold water. High heat. And again, some salt and pepper. Okay, so now that we've our corned beef simmering away like a madman, we've also got our cabbage and carrots on an ice bat. Potatoes are boiling. The cream sauce is nearly done as well. I think it is done. I'm nearly finished with this. I think it's time for a nap. I got two more hours to wait. Bye. Oh, daddy boy, the pipes. Oh. I uh, didn't get that nap in. Oops. <sighs> Morning. It's so over back, guys. Uh, I think we're almost there. Corned beef has been cooking for about four hours. Let's go check on it now. Okay, so remove your uh, foil. Be careful of the steam. And there's your beautiful corned beef, ready to rock and roll. So. Here we go, we're going to start trimming some of the fat. So you want to try and get as close to the meat as possible. So now that we've trimmed most of our fat off, we're going to be left with a nice, beautiful, clean brisket. Let's get our uh, cabbage and carrots and potatoes ready. We've got some compound butter here. It's just a nice mixture of herbs, butter and a little garlic, and a little salt and pepper. We're going to add a little bit of this to the pan. Now we're adding our cabbage and carrots to our compound butter. We're gonna toss our potatoes in the same compound butter that we just used. Okay guys, I hope this is making you hungry because I am absolutely starving. Next step in this uh, whole process is we're gonna cut our meat, put it on a plate, serve it to our guests with beautiful vegetables and our beautiful cream sauce. My mother makes it the all day, brother. Ready to serve.